that's the thing, they respond to us. They can't just go off and do whatever the fuck they like and expect us to sit here and take it. We put them there, we can bring them down, because what they're counting on is us sitting there and taking it. And we bloody well shouldn't. We contribute the most to this country, we work the hardest, we personally pay the most bloody tax. We're the ones that are going to be running the schools, the hospitals, building the buildings, doing the engineering, all of that. It's us. So we've got to take a stand for our rights and we're going to bring down this government and this is the way to do it. Stop these attacks. Fight, fight, fight! as a result of these changes, the cure to HIV or breast cancer and other diseases are locked in the way of a brain who's of someone who wanted to go to university but couldn't. I bring greetings and messages of solidarity from the 43,000 teachers and principals in state schools and TAFE colleges right across Queensland. We're with you in this fight uh, and we certainly oppose the Abbott government's outrageous proposals for higher education. Everyone who has the desire to finish education in a schooling sector should have that opportunity without having economic barriers put in their way. What's the point of having full-time employment in a respected job where your income is such that you can't afford to keep yourself? That's the sort of thing that we have to be concerned about. Instead of increasing it by the 10% we need to provide proper educational quality, we, uh, we're looking at a 20% cut and they want to uh, make universities slug students to make up the difference. People say, well, isn't it fair that students make a contribution? You're making a contribution. You're paying 40% of the costs of your education uh, and the rest is being met by government, by the taxpayer, by other sources. You shouldn't be charged more because that's totally out of kilter with what most of the de developed and prosperous world is paying. Deregulation is all about undermining the whole principle of a quality public higher education system. Education should be a right and not a privilege. When did our government forget that? Or well, perhaps this government never really thought that that was the way it is. And how appalling is it that they want to change the interest rate so that people who earn the least, like say people who choose to work in the community and not for profit sector, like I did after they graduate, and women who choose to take time off for, um, to have kids, as many of us do, how awful is it that their debt will be the one that gets higher and higher and higher? So once again, you see the effect of this government's policies is the worst for those who can least afford to pay. And next week in the parliament, it is going to make me feel so happy to vote down this proposal to deregulate our universities and to increase the fees for students.